when you play in a video on Plex and you change the quality, to, for example, to 720p, what's actually happening is that the computer that's running the server is converting the video in real time to the new quality. So that's how you're able to see the different quality setting from the same video clip. And while that's fine if you have a strong PC, it will start buffering on a weak PC. And if you're at home, you usually can watch it on original quality anyway if you've got a good enough network. But if you're going to be watching it away from home over maybe a, a cellular connection or just a connection that isn't that fast, you may be wanting to watch a certain TV series or a certain film in a lower quality over the network and you may not want your computer to have to render the video every single time you watch that film or TV show especially if you're going to be watching it a lot of times out of the house you don't want to have to deal with that so what you can do is that you can pre-convert the video to a lower resolution through the use of optimizing as they call it in Plex so to optimize a video there's actually two separate ways of doing it you can either go to the three dots here and you can go to optimize or you can do it from actually within the program too, from the three dots at the top, which are right here. Or if you want to do it to an entire library, you can go into the library and then go to the top here, if it loads, and then go to optimize. And the two different options are pretty much the same, although the option for the library will have the two additional options here, unwatched only and limit to five items because obviously that makes sense because you're dealing with more than one item, whereas those wouldn't apply to just one item. But yeah, basically this at the top is gonna be the name of the optimized folder that they go into. This is gonna be whether you only wanna convert unwatched videos or watched videos. Limit to five is limiting it to the five newest items. But the part that you really wanna concentrate on is this part here, this is, um, how it's going to convert the video. So the quality settings for the three top ones, which are optimized for mobile, for TV, and then original quality, are 4 megabits per second at 720p for optimized for mobile, and 8 megabits per second at 1080p for optimized for TV, and for original quality here, it's kept the same, but it just converts it to MP4. When you go into custom, things get a bit more complicated and they're a bit more vague about this. I actually asked Plex what the difference is between all of these. They gave me a pretty vague answer, but basically all of them do convert to MP4 and you basically just choose the quality option that you want from here and yeah, just call it what you want. So um, it's probably best to just either go with Universal Mobile or Universal TV, depending on what you're going to be watching it on. And yeah, go with the quality option that you want. And then, for example, call it for MBPS 720. Or you can just call it whatever you want, really. Um, it's up to you. And this here is going to determine where the actual files are going to be stored. So you can set for them to be in the um, root of the folder, or the, the movies folder, or whatever the root of that is, or in the folder with the original items. So you can't set an actual custom place to put them in, if you know what I mean. You can't change where they're gonna be, but you can choose if you want them to be in the folder with the original items or just in the base folder. So you can change that and then you just do optimize and it'll get to work optimizing them. You can do the same thing for an individual video. So if I go here and I go to optimize and I do optimize for mobile and do optimize here, as you can see, it's going to start converting. I get an error when I'm trying to convert the video. There's a specific reason for that, um, that I know of. And it's because of the way that I've got Plex set up in my particular server. I basically pull the files off a NAS drive. So, it's a, basically an issue with being able to write to the NAS drive, as you can said. It, the files cannot be written to the server's disk. So that's fine for me because I don't optimize anyway. But um, yeah, you shouldn't have this issue anyway if it's, if this is something that you do want to do. This is an issue that is particular to my setup, so you don't have to worry about it. Basically, it will show that it's converting, and once it's converted, then you'll be able to watch it. And yeah. That's how you go about optimizing media on Plex. 
Be sure to give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe to see more Plex tutorials as well as other videos that I put out in the future. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.